I haven't seen Ronnie Johnson now and I don't even know. I know I didn't see you last year, so probably back in 2021. So I guess I need to get together with you because you told me you had a, what was the phrase you used, uh, a zero last year or something yeah, like that? Yeah, we had a zero. We blinked. Uh, last year wasn't very good. What was going on? How, what do you attribute that to? I don't know. We just, uh, this new, I keep blaming it on this new style car. Mm -hmm. I just can't get comfortable with it. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, I got a lot of people helping us, and we're trying to make some changes and learn, and the okay. evolution of these cars has got me spun out a little bit. You know, you're not the only one to tell me. While he answers this next question, I'll actually show you the car, because they had something on Facebook about the big reveal. I thought you're not the first person who tells me, is it the coils in the left side pan art? We just can't get a, a handle on that? It must be, Doug. You know, uh, you know, I, we have moments. There's moments where we could go out and set fast time and win a heat race. Uh -huh. and, uh, you know, uh, like I watched Matt Shepard race and I, I try to look at guys like him that are winning and it seems like they know what to do at the right time and the right moment of the night mm -hmm. you know like last year I watched him in some of the big races and uh, he was maybe a fifth place car and then on a pit stop he knew what to do and all of a sudden he takes off and wins the race really? um, these cars are real finicky real touchy and um, it's finding that sweet spot but I think that that sweet spot is a lot narrower now than it used to be. Yeah, and I just brought that up with an interview I did earlier today. So how do we fight that? How do we pick up that knowledge? Is, do you need to race more? Do you need to just look at things differently? Well, I think all of it. I think you need to race more. And um, yeah, maybe a, a, a finer adjustment is more crucial than... Mm -hmm. I think what happens to me is I end up going from one extreme to the other and missing that sweet spot. So, uh, you know, maybe racing more and just paying attention a little more okay but we're not giving up we'll get it all right what is this car is this a new piece to you or yes is this is a brand new dkm chassis um we built and we did a throwback scheme of my father's 1988 uh race car it's a race car that i personally love and i knew a lot of people liked it at the time and uh we spent a lot of time and a lot of effort to make this car look uh and resemble his car from 1988 we doing anything different underneath that we can't see? Uh, right under there is a brand new Kevlar big block. Okay, and, uh, that'll help. You know, uh, they, Kevin and the, Rob and the guys at Kevlar built some really good stuff. And uh, uh, we're not winning races, not because of our engine program. Okay. Well, is a big block what you need? Because are you going to be back at Fonda? Are you going to do Utica? What are you thinking right we now? We have another car home with a small block in it, too. Okay. Uh, yep. So what will this one be for, then? Don't know right this second. I think I'm going to go open a day at Albany, Saratoga with this car. Okay, all right. We're find a car. We're going to go work on that tomorrow morning. Gotcha. So, big block on Fridays, is that still the way to go? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. um, you know, at Albany, you have to run a big block. At Utica, That's true, you it's dirt car, right. Both. Good point. I forgot. Um, that's difficult at times right now because the bodies are different, the tires are different, the engines are different. Yeah. It creates a lot of work, so mm -hmm. trying to figure that all out is something we're trying to figure out right now. We got to run points somewhere or just go? Fonda for sure. Fonda for Fonda sure. Fonda for sure. Okay. The rest of it, I don't know. I need to see yeah. what that NASCAR thing is all about. I'm kind of wondering that um, myself. And see how it pertains to me and our race team. Um, right. A guy like Matt Shepard, he, he probably could sweep it, you know? Yeah, uh, win a lot of money. And at this stage of where we're at, I don't know how much point racing we're going to do. Okay. As much as, you know, racing races that make sense to us. Yeah, there was a guy, I can't remember who it was a few years ago, who told me he skipped, he didn't do as much weekly races. He says, this thing's got to make money every time it leaves the shop, so I'm going to concentrate on certain races where I feel I have a better chance. Is that yeah, your exactly. plan? Exactly. Um, you know, just uh, thank you very much. Yeah, um, thank you. Um, yeah, running, running just places maybe that we do better yeah, and events correct. we do better. You know, there's certain places that maybe are a struggle for us, and I'll shy away from them. Mm -hmm. How you doing? How cool um, is this, by the way, to have all these oh, people it's great. coming you know, up, uh, right? We're in our hometown. Mm -hmm. um, this is, you know, a lot of racing is right in this area. My yes. dad raced here for years. And there's a lot of fans right here that come out to see us. And mm -hmm. It's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. So it's a fun weekend for us. All right. Well, good luck with everything. I'll call you. We'll get a little more in-depth on a phone interview, and I'll get that all set up for you. Okay. But Thank good you to see you, man, and I can't wait to see you back on the racetrack this year. Thank you.